Now, we have certain cases wherein we have the concept of arrangement with repetition. Now, sometimes you may have cases wherein you need to pick up some terms and you need to arrange in such a way that there are a few of them are of one kind exactly identical, another one are of another kind and the third one are of third kind and the remaining are different and what are the ways in which you can arrange. Now it's a simple logic. Now suppose there are 10 balls. We have 10 balls. That is n is 10. Out of which 3 are identical and look blue. And two of them are green. How many ways can they be arranged? And both these are identical. All the three blues are identical to each other and all the two greens are identical to each other. Now, let's start this way. Now, the 10 balls can be arranged in 10 factorial. So, we can take this as P and this possibly could be taken as Q. And the remaining five are of different colors. So, 10 factorial ways we arrange these. Now, if you see the three blue balls within themselves, they can be arranged in three factorial ways. But all these three factorial ways amount to only one way of arranging because you can't distinguish one blue ball from the other. They don't have any distinct identity. Similarly, these two green balls can be arranged in two factorial ways. But both the ways that you arrange, whether you put the first or second, second or first, you can't identify them as two distinct things. So in other words, this contains this 3 factorial and 2 factorial which eventually is actually only 1. So that means you need to divide this by 3 factorial by 2 factorial to say that all the among all the total number of arrangements green ball 1, green ball 2, green ball 2, green ball 1 both are one and the same arrangement you divide by 2 much the same way so that the number of arrangement actually has reduced because two arrangements are exactly alike. So, it is one single arrangement. Much the same way these three blue balls 1, 2 and 3 whether you arrange them as 1, 2, 3 or 1, 3, 2 or 2, 3, 1 or 2, 1, 3 all the six arrangements are one single one. So, all the six can be taken as one hence the total number of arrangements have to be divided by 3 factorial. And the remaining of course are covered in this 10 factorial. So, in general if there are n items or articles out of which p of them are of one kind exactly identical and q of them are of another kind and r of them are of another kind and so on and the remaining are of different kinds then the total number of such arrangements is n factorial upon p factorial upon q factorial upon r factorial hence we have say for example you have a word um alila you have a Lila. What are the ways in which you can arrange? Now, in which you can arrange a Lila. Now, the N in this case is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. And out of these, P could be A, there are 2, L is 2. So, it is going to be 5 factorial upon 2 factorial into 2 factorial. Because, suppose you put A here, the first A here and the last A here or you put the first A here and the last A here, both are identical, both can work out to one single possibility. Similarly, various other possibilities, so it's going to be 5 factorial upon 2 factorial into 2 factorial. So, total number of arrangements divided by 2 factorial into 2 factorial give you total number of arrangements. Hence, this is a concept of arrangement with repetition. See, for example, arranging n things, if a, b and c refers to number of times items getting repeated, then the number of arrangement possible is n percent. a, b and c refers to number of times items get repeated, it means that provided a repetitions of one kind which are identical, b repetitions of one kind which are identical and c repetitions of the third kind which are identical and the remaining may not be identical. So, the total number of such arrangements is n factorial upon a factorial into b factorial into c factorial, which is what I indicated earlier too. For example, we have this case here. The number of arrangement of the letters of the word commerce is so and so. So, we have 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So n is equal to 8. How many c's do we have? We have 2 c's. We can take it as say 2. Then there are 2 m's. So it's going to be say q is equal to 2. Is there any other letter that is repeating? Yes, there are 2 e's. And hence r is also 2. So total number of such arrangements is going to be n factorial upon p factorial into q factorial into r factorial. So it's going to be 8 factorial upon 2 factorial into 2 factorial into 2 factorial. So it is going to be 8 factorial divided by 2 into 2. If you simplify this will turn out to be 8 into 7 factorial which is 2 factorial into 2 factorial into 2 factorial. So 2 into 2 into 2 is 8. This gets cancelled. It could also be 7 factorial. 8 factorial divided by this could also be 7 factorial. But among these, this is not the right answer. It's going to be 8 factorial divided by 2 factorial into 2 factorial into 2 factorial or just 2. So, and yes, we have that as the right answer. Okay. We have another example. In how many ways letters from the word Jalalabad can be arranged. So Jalalabad has how many J's now? How many L's do we have? We have two L's. We have three, one, two, three, four A's. So Q is equal to L we have is two and Q we have is four and A and L, J, B, D. So we have totally four plus two, six plus 3, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, n is 9. So, the number of arrangements is n factorial, p factorial, q factorial. Because j, b and d are of different kind that is covered in n factorial. So, it will turn out to be 9 factorial upon 4 factorial into 2 factorial. And hence, we have this is same as 9 into 6 into 5 into 4 factorial upon 4 factorial into 2 factorial. This gets cancelled. This means 15 into 9, 135. Such arrangements are possible of these letters. Okay. That is 9 factorial or 4 factorial into 2 factorial. Okay. Now here we have three blue balls, four red balls and five green balls. So, how many ways can they be arranged in a row? So, now we have 3 plus 4, 7 plus 5, 12. So, n is 12. P is 3. Q is 4. And R is 5. So, the number of arrangements is 12 factorial upon P factorial, 3 factorial, 4 factorial and 5 factorial. This will turn out to be 12 into 11 into 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 factorial. And this is going to be 3 into 2 and this is going to be 4 into 3 into 2 that is and this is going to be 5 factorial. This gets cancelled. And here we have this getting cancelled with this. 4, 3 is a 4 you have so and you have this and 2 4 so it's going to be 11 into 10 into 9 into 4 into 7 so let's see what we have here so we have 28 28 into 9 into 11 into 10 so we have 27,720 so among these this is the option. So, and yes, we do have it 12 factorial upon 3 factorial and 4 factorial. Okay, now you have something very specific. They are told number of words that can be made by rearranging letters of the word Apurna such that vowels and consonants appear alternate. So this is a combination of two things. Now there are two possibilities. <laughs> Now, if you see, first we find the number of arrangements, which is going to be 1, 2, n factorial upon, let us see whether anything repeats. Yes, A repeats, so it's going to be P factorial. So, there are this number of arrangements that can be 
ways in which they can be arranged. So it's going to be n factorial 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that is going to be uh, <coughs> the total number of arrangements is going to be n factorial by p factorial. But let's find out how many arrangements. So it is told that vowels and consonants appear alternate. So either vowels in 1, 3, 5 and consonants in 2, 4 and 6 positions or or vowels in 2, 4, 6 positions and consonants in 1, 3, 5 positions. This will be the total number of arrangements. But in each of these, there are two of them are of the same category, two of the A's. So each of them will have two possibilities of arrangement of A's which total out to one. So it's going to be two factorial upon two factorial. This is how it is. Now, there are three vowels which occupy three spaces. So we can arrange them in three P three ways. And again, there are three consonants which occupy the even numbered spaces which can be again arranged in three ways upon two or so it has to be translated as plus again here it's the other way around three vowels in three places that is two four six and the three consonants in the odd places that is three p three but this is also divided by two this is going to be three factorial into 3 factorial, we can take out plus 3 factorial into 3 factorial, the whole divided by 2. That is, you have 36 plus 36, 2 times 36 divided by 2, which is turning out to be 36 itself. So, there are 36 such arrangements that are possible. So, this is slightly tricky. Because this is a combination of arrangement and dividing by the items that are being repeated. Number of items that are repeated. Because in this case, the A's are identical. <coughs> Let us see how. So, we have 36 as the answer and we do have 3P3. Okay. Now, here we have a situation wherein... Total number of ways in which 6 pluses and 4 minus signs can be arranged in a line so that no 2 minus signs occur together. So, let's make a diagrammatic representation. We have plus, 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 plus. There are 6 of them are arranged, suppose. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And these are arranged in 6 factorial ways. And out of which the minus are occupied, the minus sign, no two minus signs. So they have minus signs to like this. So the four minus signs can be arranged in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces in seven P4 ways. So, this is the total number of arrangements. This is n is the number of arrangements. But after this, 6 of them, 6 of the plus signs are of one category. So, it's going to be 6 factorial. And the remaining ones, uh, sorry, seven. the remaining ones, that is the 4 minus signs are of one category, that is 4 factorial. So, let the 6 factorial and 6 factorial get cancelled and hence we have 7p4 which is 7 factorial upon 7 minus 4 3 factorial and upon 4 factorial so it's going to be 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 factorial upon 4 factorial into 3 factorial which is 3 into 2 so 4 and 4 get cancelled and we have 35 such possible arrangements that can be recorded in this case. So, total number of arrangements out of which 6 factorial in four fa into 4 factorial arrangements, all these amount to same thing. So, eventually there are only 35 possible arrangements because these pluses 
are not distinguishable from each other and the minuses are also not distinguishable from each other. So which you put first, the order within them can be, uh, is not very important over here. So we, all the orders amount only one single order. So that's what we have. 